Hi, thanks for joining me. Today I want to show you how to create this layout. I know that it looks pretty intense, but it's not. Um, you're, it's created using one sheet of 12 by 12 designer con cards, not designer cardstock, designer paper. Something that you're going to like both the front and the back when you fold them together. I would like to give credit to the designer of this layout or the inspiration. She is one of our Japanese advisors and unfortunately I do not, I'm not able to read Japanese so I cannot read her name or give her credit. The layout that she created uses used a different punch and has a slightly different feel to it but I wanted to use a punch a tool that is readily available still on the Creative Memories website. And I think this came out pretty nicely. So here we go. I'm going to move that off to the side. All you need for this is a piece of designer, designer paper and a piece of cardstock that goes with it. You're going to take that full sheet of 12 by 12 designer paper and cut it down into four six inch squares. You're actually going to use three of them. So I have one left over here to demonstrate and it's using the dotted leaf circle punch. I don't know how many of you are familiar with the circle punches. It tells you right here that you want to start with a six inch piece of paper. And so that's what we'll do. And there's a couple little steps and it actually shows you on the side here how to cut it and I'll walk you through that. So you put your paper in and you line it up against the guides here and here and across here. Give it a punch. Take it out, turn it, and you're going to punch the first four corners. Just turning it. And then to create the other side, you need to flip this paper over and now you have this corner. This is the corner that you're going to line up in here. So let me show you that again. This is what we punched first. And now to do the reverse, the other corners, we flip it over. Take this corner, line it up in the back. So now you have that sitting there. Now when you do this one, you do have to clean it out each time to get that corner off. So again, you just line it up punch, turn it, punch, and lastly, there you go. And now we have our circle, which this would be beautiful to use on its own. And let's see, let me pull out the custom cutting system here. You could, so this is the middle size circle. It's pretty much right in there, so you could cut out a mat and have it, the red blade would have it go over a little bit. Here's the largest one. You could use the largest circle, red blade on the inside and create a mat or cut out your picture. Or use the smallest circle and cut out your mat and your photo. But that's not what we're gonna do with it today. Today, we're gonna cut it into pie wedges. Now you will do this to three of them. Remember we started with a full 12 by 12 sheet. We cut it down into four six inch squares and then each square you will go ahead, well actually you need three of them. Three of the squares we are now going to cut. And if you can see on this pattern, there's kind of a circle punch and that's what I'm going to use to line up. On the 12 inch trimmer, it shows you the cut line right here, this dotted line. There are four sides to this. It looks like I'm gonna be new, due for a new one soon. They're marked one, two, three, four. So it'll, you'll put it in with side one up, and once you start getting um, frayed edges, it's not cutting cleanly, then you wanna take it out and switch it over to side two. I'm on side four, and it looks like pretty soon I'm going to have to get a new one. One of the nice things about this, if you haven't, if you don't have this, 
underneath. You can store extra strip right here so you're ready to go when you're out scrapbooking. And the different blades fit underneath. All right, so let's go ahead and cut this. So I'm gonna use this dotted line as my cut guide. Put this circle, center it. It doesn't have to be perfect, just eyeball it. And cut it. And then you're gonna take this one and cut it in another wedge. Now we don't have the dots on both edges, both sides. Fear not. Put the flat edge against the base and put that dot there and cut. And to that one on the last one, there you go. So we will have done that to three of our squares. Let me bring this back. I don't have this down yet, so I can just slide it off. All right, now if you take our 13 inch cutting mat, place your cardstock centered down on it. All right. We're going to start with four full ones and just kind of line them up there at the point. Put the point at the six, the point at the six, point at the six, and the point at the six. I said, and we'll, if you put this down, which I'll go ahead and do that, using the repositionable tape runner, that's going to make it super easy to move these around as we lay everything down. We'll just hold these in place quick. Probably the hardest thing about this layout will be just filling the papers around. So the rest of them are just created by taking the pie wedge and folding the point to the center and holding it down with some tape runner. Now we're just going to take these two in each corner and and this is where you'll see we might have to do some fiddling around. I shouldn't have put those down. Put these here. In each corner. And that is how you do it. So let me see. Take it down. And what you can kind of do is you have the diagonal going here. So this line, if you have, I happen to have a quilter's ruler that I could use for this. Put it across the diagonal. It's 18 inch long ruler, which will help me. And then I can line this up here. Make sure it's on the paper. And put some tape runner on it. Pretty much once you get the first one lined up, you should be able to just go around and do the rest. Put this down. And if anybody and come up with a name for this layout, please share it with us. I'm not going to take your time. I think you can figure out pretty much what I'm doing the whole way around. 
I appreciate you coming to my page or my YouTube site and following this. And I also post this on my Creative Memories customer Facebook group is where I also post these videos and I do a I, whoop, I didn't line that up very well now did I let's try that one again I post these videos as well as any other little tips I might come up with during the week a little encouragement all of our specials We'll get this to go all the way around. There you have it. Beautiful, simple, one tool. Dotted leaf circle punch. Thank you very much.